Hey, this is Anthony from OQPlay.com, and today we're playing Gadgetia. So this is a puzzle game, pretty much physics puzzle game, uh, in which you're kind of thrown in this room. Looks like someone's mad scientist room, or someone's a little bored at work, and they decided to create this run. So you start over here, and um, for each. Uh, puzzle element you get to almost see well this is a uh, what I've already done um, you've kind of got some solid blocks that you start off with and the ones with good patterns on the ones that I've set down on you can literally just place them down like that and then uh, once you've actually configured them all place them down uh, you've got to get from A to B so by pressing this button down you can just And then each one unlocks, like the one over here, you can start if you want to, but the aim is to pretty much get this green wire all the way through, I think, to that door over there. So that's the plan. And that looks like it comes over and then ignites that. So I guess over there, we've got more to play with and then over into that room and the following room. So there's quite a lot of puzzles to get around with. And because it's physics based, um, anything goes. So these two controllers, um, you've got like a menu button, which brings up all the items that you can use to complete that particular puzzle. And you've got this one, which is your pretty much your um, your grab and you can actually push the stick up to change it between different items this uh, clones an item that's already in the world and this one actually deletes it so move clone delete so from this you can then suck things up uh, and this one actually clones by selecting it and moving it across and this one just allows you to pick up and manipulate it in certain ways and with this and your pieces, let's actually go to the next puzzle that I'm on. I'm actually playing the seated. It's a little bit more easier just to sit and take this all in and see where you need to go. So we're at stage eight. We've come all the way along here. Um, I can show you a couple of how I got here. So let's try this one. So this is a bit more. Um, I don't know what's happened here, it's actually finished. Whereas this one was set. So we did that, and then we did this. And over here, we had a one where we could have gone done anything here, but if you bring it down this slope here, you're going to knock into this. So. Just pressing that. And then this one. So for this one, you, you can see this like texture, um, moving texture. And they look like ice blocks like you find in a, um, in, a, in a refrigerated box or something, ice blocks. And um, that's basically means that they're frozen objects, which means you can't actually manipulate them. Um, you can manipulate these, uh, you can't manipulate these because they're part of the world as well. But you can see that it's going to hit these ones, so you've actually got a pattern to follow to get it to the end there. So, that's that one. Uh, this is quite fun. So this starts to show like some mechanics that you can show by these falling down, it will push that rod through. So. And that one then push this one through and then hit the button. So this is quite a fun one. Oh, didn't work that time. So button to reset. Let's bring that back a little bit. Because it's physics based, anything happens. You could just, it would work one time and then sometimes it might not work um, the second time. So, um, it might be worth doing a retry if you really think that a solution 
actually should work because of the physics and the thing goes. Um, so this one, you could have gone two ro routes because this was empty. It kind of implies that you've got to go this way up, build yourself up, that can then slide down and hit that button. But I thought, what's the point? You can just literally turn it here immediately and then by knocking these over, you'll then hit the button like this. So nice and simple, so there's a little bit of a red herring there. So now we are number eight. So by clicking on that, you start off number eight, and this is the first time I've actually done this, so I'm not really sure. We've got a marble here that will roll down and then down it. So basically, we need to get to hitting, taking this away, basically. So by coming down, we've got to come down and knock this out of the way so that marble can come down. So what do we have? We've got not many tiles. So this is going to be quite an easy one, I'm hoping. So he's going to knock this one out, hopefully. There we go. So you can see it's building up to number nine now. And then now we start number nine. So, again, another marble one. We've got to knock each of these walls down by the looks of it. So, the little rod is going to come out of here, hit this, and then they're going to concertina. So, it looks like I've got to do a few directions so that they all knock them down at each time and then this one I'm going to have to use a large one because it's the next level up and then this one should just be another straight run down so that should do that hopefully let's try So, number 10. Again, we've got to fan this, knock this one out. These look like they don't go anywhere, they're just holding this whole thing up. So, the ball's going to come down. I've got to knock this down somehow. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to do that. How am I going to do that? That's odd. There's no other meter. So, what's that? so that's going to send that out. Okay. So let's do the first bit. So let's move this across. Come back. So that's that bit done. But you're going to have to create a contraption. That will rotate around, come across this and knock this off. So let's do that and go. This is quite a tricky one. Probably the first one out of the mall. That needs a little bit more thought. So I'm going to use a big one here. I'm going to use a rod. That's going to push. Mm. I wonder if I can use a bit of force and send this going. So this has actually got to happen a lot, quite a lot sooner before that marble gets hit. So 
let's see if that works. Okay, that didn't work as good as I thought. <laughs> okay, um, let's reset. Let's try. It kind of. Okay, I'll show you the Hoover there. So, suck that up. Suck this up. And let's try. Does that actually push that across? No. You can see that's proper wedged in there. So we've actually got to fan that around. That can then do that. This. Let's see if that falls off. <laughs> okay, um, probably a little bit more force. Nope. Nope. Put that right on the edge. Oh, almost. What did that not do? Okay. So let's bring that here. Nice. Yay. Cool. Right. Eleven. Freeze mode. So we've got freeze mode now. So with freeze mode you can can I clone these? Yes I can. Cool. So in freeze mode you can actually put objects down and they basically freeze in midair so you can actually that's how that rail was created earlier because they froze from the the wall and then the things were just suspending off that so a nice simple one here just for illustrating what freeze actually does so let's just as simple as a straight run to the end And that should be enough. Number 12. So again, we have to use freeze here. So pressing the freeze button. Do another run. Could we do that? That's all we need to do, I think. I think this game's got some really good onboarding. It, it's um, it's not like leaving you in the lurch, and you you really do play around until you until you get it. But you're not really playing around too much um, before you realise what you actually need to do. So that's the great of all this because it's physics based. It's just real world um, behaviours really, and what you associate what that is actually going to do. I knew that marble was going to come down, and by angling that it's going to roll down even more, so I don't need to do anything else. And that's the, that's the beauty of this, really. So, okay, so we've got a curve one here, so hopefully I've got some curved bits, yep. So with this on, place it down. So we've got a, another straight run. Again, that should just be or what we need to do. I have a feeling it's going to get a lot harder in the other rooms. Okay, so what do we have? Straight runs, some corners, some drop throughs. So it looks like we need to do a straight run. Oh, that's even closed. I didn't even see that. What an idiot. Okay. Right. So that's going to come down. 
again. How should we do this? Let's go this way. Be a bit weird. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Fifteen. All right. So oh, I'm gonna have to sit down for this one. All right. It's very tight. All right. Okay. So. Again, freeze blocks, these are going to go down if I hit them. But we need to hit something up here. That's going to drop down. Ball's going to drop and go into there. Right, so what do we have? Got some angled runs. So that'll do that. I think that's enough to hit that off. That's going to send that. And then we just need to send that off there. Right. 16. What do we have to do here? Kick that. That's going to come down and send that marble down. Wow. Okay. And then we need to set that off. Okay. This could be a long one. Are you willing to stay on watching as I do this? Okay. Um. We just need to get up here, but what do we have? Okay. So I think. I think different people are gonna play this differently. You like you see, I just literally did a shortcut. Someone might spend an extra ten minutes to get everything perfect, where you don't really need to. To be honest, way that's cool. Let's do that. Nice. Okay, so <laughs> this is cool. So we don't need to do this bit because we need we just need to do the bit over there. So it falls down roughly straight in front. Okay. So we just need to do this bit really. So what do we have? We have a funnel. Do we need that? No, probably not. So that rolls down, so let's use that to our advantage. And probably no 
the strength. And we need to do a really quick turn. Is that possible? Oh. Hopefully, I'm hoping this will come down by force and skip that bit. So, let's see if this works. Ah, oh, almost. I think. Wow, it really jumped. Okay. But then. Is that enough? <laughs> okay. Let's get it down this first. Oh. Almost. I think I just need to play with this height. Nice, okay. We're getting there. I think I should do it. Yes, mom. Hi, mom. Okay, this is. Where are we going with this? Okay, this is the last one. Right. What happens? That just happens. But we need to bridge across here. Is that even needed? We just need to knock this off. So let's do this in reverse. We can either come along, go up, hit this around and down. I think, or left, around, right, left and then down. Or we could bypass that and actually bridge across here, roll down, corner. But it's gonna hit this lip. I don't know if we're gonna have enough speed so, first of all, what do we have? Well, we have lots of items, okay, so. Let's give it a shot. Right, so we're into the new. Oh, okay. Let's charge something up. So we're into the new room. Wow. Level twenty. <laughs> Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna think I'll leave this here. I'm gonna keep playing. And if you'd like to see more of this game, uh, I can probably record next phase and maybe release it as a walkthrough. We'll see. But for now, I'm having good fun. Cool, all right. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you soon on the next one. Cheers, bye.